I'm going to send it down to Lewis with uh, our second period intermission guest, UCF goaltender, Jackson Barton. Jackson, welcome to the program. What's going on? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Listen, you started off eight games in a row. We didn't get a chance to talk to you, and we don't like to talk to goaltenders probably in the middle of the game because you're a little, you know, intense. Nobody knows if they want to talk to you. It's just kind of like, let's let them go. When I saw you were free tonight, I said, we got to grab them. Yeah, I mean, first night off and eight games, like you said, so it feels good. So tell me these stats. You played at Plant and Steinbrenner, right? Yeah, but I played Plant my freshman year and then transferred to, to Steinbrenner where he won a state championship there. You got to love that. You've got eight games in with UCF, 4.13 goals against, 0 .903, 0 .901 save percentage, but you've faced 341 shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, I think it was like second in the league in shots against. That's pretty wild. But it feels good to be over 900 with that, with those that many shots against. So, yeah. So how's your college experience been so far at UCF? It's been good. I've been finding a lot of a lot of different groups of people to hang out with, a lot of different stuff to do. So it's a fun time. Now, tell me about the dynamics. We have two brand new goalies at UCF. That's the first time in many years. Normally you have one and then you've got a veteran and a rookie. But now we've got two guys. How are, are you and Jacobson getting along? Pretty good. I mean, the early morning practices are tough for everybody, so it's a good good bonding experience for the both of us. So. So what's your impression? Because you see the ice just like he sees it, which is different from the other 18 guys on the bench being in the goaltender position. What's your thought on his first two periods tonight? Uh, he's been playing good. We've been getting up some bad chances, though. A lot of breakaways, two-on-ones, but he's bailed us out a few times. That, that goal they scored, just an unlucky bounce. So he made the first save, but it's hard, to, it's hard if no one's there to support and clean up. You know, when Jason's on here, you got to come be a, a color analyst with us. That's great. That's the same thing we said. Now, when you see it from the bench and you see those long stretch passes and the defense getting caught, when you see it on the ice, it's one thing, but when you see it from the bench, is it any different? It looks worse. <laughs> they look a lot longer from the bench on that angle. So, and it's, it's harder to, it's easier to yell at them when they come back at the bench and ask them what they're doing, but... Now, do you yell at them when you're on the ice? Oh, yeah. Definitely let them know when I get the time. But they know they've made a mistake, too, so sometimes there's no point. But All right, tell me about your experience at Pelham last week. I heard it's a great place. I know they got a big scoreboard, great fans. Had to be a lot of fun for you to get both games. Yeah, I think I think it was a good trip for the, for the guys to hang out and have some good experiences, make some memories. But we didn't get the, the wins we were looking for, which is unfortunate. I think there's... 102 shots against in two games, which is pretty ridiculous. So we were up 3-1 in the first game and then ended up losing 6-3, so that's unacceptable. we got to fix that. But And our power play was atrocious that weekend, but we'll figure it out. Other than that, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so what's your major? I'm aerospace engineering major. I'm a junior. Good for you. Well, look, anybody you want to say hi to before we let you go? Uh, my parents, but they're not watching tonight, so maybe if they watch a recording of the interview, they'll, they'll get a laugh out of it. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to UCF Hockey and DSPN Live. Thanks again. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.